This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, markets rose for the third consecutive week and continue to confound the widely held consensus opinion that stocks would fall in the first half of the year and even test the lows of September as the Federal Reserve continued to raise rates and then rally after mid-year when the Federal Reserve would finally stop tightening. But as markets often do, they ignore the experts and flip the script to frustrate as many market participants as possible. Global markets have surged in January, with the S&P 500 up 6%, the NASDAQ up 11%, international stocks up 9%, and emerging markets up 10% so far in 2023. Now, there's no big secret about what's driving the market. The Fed's policies to curb inflation have been working, and inflation has been falling. This week, the core PCE inflation, the Fed's preferred measure, rose 4.4% from a year ago, its smallest annual increase since October of 2021. Now, another sign that the Fed's policies are working is the money supply. The money supply growth rate for December was a negative 1.3% versus a year ago, the lowest ever, and marking the first ever decline in M2 based on all data available. Meanwhile, the 10-year Treasury yield is down from its highs and holding with a yield of 3.5%. Now, the market is betting that the Fed will see enough improvement to stop hiking rates in the near future. That would be good news, of course, because investors' big fear is that the central bank will tighten right into the teeth of a recession. Now, the Federal Open Market Committee is widely expected to raise the federal funds rate by only 25 basis points this coming Wednesday. And with the recently reported better than expected fourth quarter GDP report, it's raising hopes that the Fed may actually manage a soft landing. What the Fed ultimately does or does not do is anyone's guess. But the markets have shown us once again in real time that no one ever gives us an all clear signal on when to invest. And there are times like now when they do more harm than good. As Warren Buffett says, the only value of stock forecasters is to make fortune tellers look good. That time in the market is more important than timing the market. And as I always say, when it comes to the financial markets and achieving your financial goals, it's always better to be approximately correct than precisely wrong. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience of building tax-efficient, low-cost, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you need to do is text or call right now, 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692, or just simply call 844 844- Plan NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.